Hey guys and welcome to 100% Chelsea. Today is another match day vlog. I'm going off to Chelsea versus Everton. I've also got my shirt ready. Here it is. I'm sure most of you know who Michael Emanalo is. If not, try and find something on YouTube. There's probably a video. If there isn't one, let us know in the comments and we could even make a video on him. But yeah, I got this shirt printed to um, show my views in the sands. It probably won't get seen, but I thought, try and speak up. They don't listen to our words, so hopefully a shirt will do so. Enough about the shirt and more about the game. Oh, score prediction, anyway. Um, it's quite a tough one. Chelsea Everton every season, it seems to have some sort of shock. Obviously, this season you had like Stephen Naismith turn into fucking Ronaldo and score a hat trick, I think it was. Season before, you had 6 3 Chelsea. That's just an incredible game. Um, so, so, I mean, Chelsea this season enough have been so unpredictable and difficult to, difficult to predict the scores of, but Everton games are always exceptionally difficult. But I would like to say that we would win, um, however, I don't know. I'm going to go for a draw. I personally, unfortunately, don't think it would be the most interesting draw. I reckon it would either be a nil-nil, a pretty low-scoring game, or just a pretty boring draw, realistically. But hopefully it's not. I never liked seeing a nil-nil draw. So I've come off the train at Earl's Court, we've met up with some of the guys, we've got uh, Freddie, Lawrence, Max, Shaq, Charlie Max. and Dan, uh, we're now walking to the game, it should be about a 10 minute walk so see we'll you there. What's up, what's up guys, Louis from 100% Chelsea and the Burgo and we are here at Chelsea versus Everton. Now, match preview. Max has asked me to do this and he's pretty much on the spot. So I'm gonna have to try and uh, you know spitball see what we can do. So basically, the lineup looks pretty solid. By the looks of things, it looks like a pretty solid team we've got out there, and Everton also have a pretty solid team. So I'm gonna go for a draw, I'm gonna say possibly 1-1. One, one. I don't think we can win it today, I'll be honest, because Everton have been looking very, very, very good recently. And I think we're still coming out of the back end of some poor performances. But you know, we'll see what's going on. So, bottoms up, see you after the game. So, it's half time of the game, uh, Chelsea looked pretty poor, worst thing is Everton didn't really look much better. Um, I'm starting to doubt the fact that we'll even get a point out of this game, we're really not looking good. Literally, Willian and Zuma are the only players that I've seen running around in the first half, the rest just seem to be standing still. Um, we're not even there on the attack and weirdly we're not even there to defend. All the players are in the wrong position, not making any movement, awful first half. Personally, think we'll probably end up losing this game. But I'm going to go see Louis, give you his opinion. Crap. Come on, Chelsea! 
you brought the game. When you talk about gold, it's not deserved. We, we've been all over them since our second goal. As you can see, we're pretty excited. As you can hear, my voice is gone. I mean, that John Terry goal blew my mind. Dan, Louis, we've got him here. Few words, come on. Dan, get in, son. Few words. I fucking love John Terry. Come That's in, James. Oh, yeah, brilliant. What do you think to say? Uh, well, we didn't play that well, but I don't care because, well, it was brilliant. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Well, listen, listen, listen you, you, you were saying it earlier, right? Care. If you looked at it on your phone, a point is rubbish. Not enough. But Not what we need. But if you were at that game, that is a <laughs> oh, memorable game, incredible. and you will never Honestly, forget it. Incredible. Never forget incredible. it. Incredible. Ne ever. This, this is this is what behind the scenes looks like. <laughs> hundred percent jealous. So. Three all on paper might not be the best, but being at the game, incredible. Which thing? It's mental. It's mental. I mean, um, John Terry, last minute. If it was Everton or Man United or Oxford United, a, a, a last second people goal by John Terry is amazing. Always. I'm just happy. I'm happy we got that last minute goal, and uh, it's not a loss. It was offside. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Game's finished, we've done our interviews on 100% Chelsea, Louis Sunday's player ratings. We've just come back from a drink out as well, and we're going to get the train home. Oh, when the blues! Oh, when the blues! Go marching in! Go marching in! Oh, when the blues! Go marching in! I wanna be in that number! Oh, when the blues! Go marching in! Oh, when the blues! Oh, when the blues! Go marching in! Go marching in! So I'm now off the train back at Lays and Buzzard ready to get a taxi home. I know what a lot of you are going to say about this vlog. You're going to be like, oh, why are you celebrating a 3-3 duel with Everton like it's like you winning the league or something? But I, I, I don't know, like any 90th minute goal is great, whether it's an equaliser, whether it's a winner, whether it determines if you uh, stay up, whether it determines if you win the league, win the Champions League, or even just get a point. I mean, that was amazing and for me especially, to be in the Mafia, I know it and experience that. And as you saw in my interview, my voice was completely gone. I was singing all getting. Um, it, it was just a great day. So, for those of you who may not have watched the game and just saw it on your phone, as I said, and just saw Free Free Joy, you might be like, oh, okay, that's a bit of a shit result. But to have been there or watched the game, even if you watched it on TV, you'll sort of appreciate the fact that we really did sort of, that was looking like we weren't going to get it. We played a lot better. And it, it was just a great game, realistically. But yeah, free free draw. I know we're a little bit overly gassed, but it was just a great day, realistically. Anyway, that is the end of the vlog. As I say at the end of every vlog, I do have my own YouTube channel. So if you could check that out, it's called The Twelfth Man. I do football content, real life football, FIFA, bit of everything, really. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it, so if you could, that'd be really good. But nevertheless, this has been 100% Chelsea. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.